It's HPR One, All Things Considered, and I'm Dave Lawrence. Time for a little end of show drive time music feature, and this one we warn you could get a little loud. The British hard rock heavy metal band Judas Priest are back with a new studio album, Redeemer of Souls. The band has survived many trends and fads since their early 1970s beginning. Following Black Sabbath out of Birmingham, England, over four decades, their music has won acclaim for their dual lead guitar approach, as well as the talents of vocalist and lyricist Rob Halford. While through the years, the frontman has crafted themes more typically associated with heavy metal, he's also penned a musical journey filled with tales of redemption and spirituality. In a conversation for Hawaii Public Radio, Rob spoke with me about the deeper meanings that often live within the songs of Judas Priest. perspective of the lyricist. It's always a tremendous thrill and a sense of adventure to come up with different messages. So Redeemer of Souls is another selection of stories, the vast majority of which do contain those feelings of strength and resilience. And as you point out, David, 40 years is quite a long time, and there are many, many pitfalls, and there are many, many different kinds of places that you can end up. I think it's like a theme about you, about your music. There is redemption, resilience, what separates many of the classic priest and themic songs from other metal of the era that it came out in, because the messages, as you call them. And I'm glad you pointed out that one fact, Dave, that there are all different kinds of messages in music, in rock and roll especially. Some of them are very constructive and, and some of them the opposite of that. But just speaking as Rob, <laughs> <laughs> the things that make me click and tick are generally up things of optimism even in the bleakest moments. So I feel that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe that comes from my family, from my roots as well. The sense of community and helping each other and that kind of dilutes and seeps through me as a lyricist. Hmm. And again, I consider myself to be a very lucky guy because I've stood on the ground in Japan, in Brazil, in all over North America, Canada, or every place in Europe. I look at people and <laughs> we're all the same, you know, we're all exactly the same. That connection that we have with challenges on various levels, including the faith-based ones is what makes the world go round. Something that you probably tend to look at a little bit more deeply as you move on into life as a 62-year-old metalhead. <laughs> I'm seeing the, the great connectivity, the great human consciousness that we all have inside of us. Uh, many songs throughout your career have tales of inspiration, like we said, going back kind of deeper. It's more on the spiritual end, dreamer, deceiver. Well, you're trying to grasp humanity. What does everything mean? It's that almost part of the meaning of life. You're trying to make sense of, of something quite profound. That's when you do touch on spiritual aspects because life is a beautiful, remarkable gift and you're on this trip that is very, very difficult to make sense of. And surely that's when you have to really look out of your own mortal existence to find a connection. Dreamer Deceiver does, I feel, touch on a lot of very deep types of thought process. In it you say, he said in the cosmos is a single sonic sound that is vibrating constantly. <laughs> That's God. <laughs> it's always very interesting to get another angle of perspective. It was very cool to hear you say those words that I, I, <laughs> I haven't even thought about those words for a very long time. A single sonic sound that's vibrating constantly. What does that mean? I know for me, it does have a fight based issue. It's a nice way of talking about that side of me. Flash forward a few years to another one, heading out to the highway. You can fall down and you can pick yourself back up again. Their messages to the songs were always so subtle. Yeah, the first time I came to America and saw these gigantic highways, heading out to the highway, that's what we would say. Now we're going to somewhere in Texas or somewhere in New Jersey or whatever, and there you are, you know, you can go to the left or go to the right. The choice is yours to do what you like and the consequences come out of those choices that you make. It's a great song and it's a, it's a very uplifting song as well. 
You've got another thing coming, perhaps the best example. Yes. One life, I'm going to live it up. It is one life, and you don't get a second chance in a mortal sense. So I know, depending on, on your circumstances, how you live your life it can be in many ways. But I think just the, the simple statement to try and get as much out of the life and to try and give as much back in life is a, is a very important thing to try and do from my perspective. And that's a beautiful song that just resonates with strength and, and overcoming challenges. Yeah, it's a great tribute that your body of work is something that can lend support to people in the darkest of times and also be something that people can enjoy on a real casual basis without even detecting that underneath all of it, you are offering something sort of on the side with a wink, if you will. Yeah, yeah. we're a helping of, um, of good times on the side, if you order, order some of that on your plate. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm glad that we're having this discussion about this side of praise because this heavy metal music, as we call it, is not just a straightforward, in-your-face, aggressive stance. It has many, many opportunities emotionally to present itself. That one reference that you might agree to say is an example of the light and shade, the power and darkness, the ins and outs, the yin and the yang in that one song there. And we're doing exactly the same portraits in Redeemer of Souls. We have a beautiful song called The Beginning of the End, which is a very, very reflective, poignant observation on the closure of life. You marry that up to the opening track, Dragon Lord, which is full of this type of redeeming character. From the beginning to the end, uh, there are these tremendous emotional escapades. I've been uh, very appreciative of your time today. Redeemer of Souls is the album. Rob Halford, singer of Judas Priest. It's been a pleasure. It's been a wonderful interview. Appreciate it, David. Big hello to all of your listeners. And David, all the best. Thank you very much. I, r- I really appreciate it, Rob. Thank you, David. Aloha, it's Rob Halford from Judas Priest. You're tuned to All Things Considered with Dave Lawrence on statewide, member-supported Hawaii Public Radio.